Hey guys, welcome back to Sega Rewind. Today I got a quick little review for you guys, and it's not on the Sega Dreamcast VMU, it's on something very similar. I bet a lot of you guys haven't heard of it. And here it is the Sony Pocket Station. It's a memory card, it plays many games on it, just like the VMU. Except the Sony Pocket Station came out a full nine months before the Sega VMU came out. Which is kind of interesting. A lot of people, it sold very well in Japan. You open it up, stick it in your console, you got a memory card. Some About 30 Japanese games support it. You could get many games loaded right onto it. You know, take them with you, play them, just like the VMU. You know, directional pad except this thing has IR transfer which I think is pretty neat I wish the Sega VMU had IR transfer but you could just easily plug it in the top and it works fine like I said this thing sold very well about 60,000 of these were sold very quickly most of them are in this white color a few of them in crystal or clear and if you're a collecting god or very lucky, you have a black one. Which if you do, let me know because I want it from you. Uh, this thing has a speaker on the back, battery pack, nothing too fancy. The speaker on it is horrible and the battery life is atrocious. VMU has much better battery life. Audio, they're both pretty bad. Yeah, the only reason I got this was, you know, collecting reasons. There is one game pretty much here in North America that supports it. Pretty much the only game. Final Fantasy VIII. If you look in the instruction manual, there is a little section on the pocket station, actually. A lot of people don't even know what it is, but it's in there. It's a little mini game for chocobos. You feed them, run around. Uh... It's alright. It's nothing too exciting for me. I'm not a big Final Fantasy fan, but I tried it. Uh, you can buy these for about $30. Just make sure it's real. There's a lot of Chinese knockoffs out there. One way to tell if it's real is on the middle of the screen, you should be able to faintly see a PlayStation sign. I don't know why the camera's going to pick that up. So just be mindful when you're buying one on eBay. But yeah, I think it's a really cool thing to have. And kind of a shame we didn't get it here in the States. But I still like the VMU better. But anyways, that's my quick little review on the Sony Pocket Station. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.